and I can see on the timeline, so I'm assuming something bad happens. Um, I usually, especially in, in, by the way, uh, let me get your rank correct. Is it silver? What, what number should I put with the silver? I am currently gold three, but I actually just oh, you're, got you're into, gold, of course. I just got into promos to gold two, so excited about that. That's my bad, actually. Sorry, I confused the sessions. Uh, yeah. Not not silver, ladies and gentlemen. So someone asked in chat. There. Okay. there we go. Gold three, almost gold two. Right. Okay. So even in this elo, I do like just straight out of the gates to protect against invades. I don't think they're going to invade, although I see they've got a Samira, so that's interesting. Um, the point being, just it it stops the obvious because I highly doubt they're going to go for these turbo late invades. Mm. Um, and at the very least, you could use your trinket ward here. And I'm not really on the control ward placement. I don't feel it's it's that necessary against... I mean, if you're playing a... Like, I I would do it as Zyra, weirdly enough, against Chakos, because I'm fearful for my life. So if you really have a matchup that you don't like, and you know this jungler likes to invade a lot, mm -hmm. great. But one, I think defending this entrance is huge, because it allows you to see and cut them off. You can leave a trinket ward, gives you information. Um, currently you're blind because you can't trust your bottom lane to, to, yeah. uh, <laughs> look at him, look at him, just, yeah, just yeah. eagle skins, right? Um, <laughs> and here, this ward is placed oddly. Now, I'm not 100% yeah. sure, but this looks like a small crease. Now, this crease in the fog of war, in certain corners on the map, can betray you because you can, like here, you know, you can go around this and avoid the scuttle vision, things like that, right? So they yeah. behave slightly differently. I don't often see wards placed on the top, on the bottom left of this bush. So I, I, I can honestly I say I haven't tested <laughs> the pathing yeah. from this perspective. But I feel like you're not getting the most value here. Because if, if the Master Yi was to say, hug this wall, again, unlikely. But if he does, you don't see it, okay? Yeah. You can just yeah. go in and take it. 99% you're going to see him. But if it's a range, like if I'm Evelyn and I'm invading, I'm going to queue over the wall, the buff's going to be dragged in, and unless you're looking at it in this moment, you're not going to see them counter jungling. Yeah. So I feel like the investment into the control wood here isn't giving you the value you think it is. It's a pyramid scheme. Okay. Gotcha. All yeah. right, sweet. Yeah. I'll, I'll avoid doing that, yeah. The so, biggest thing is like against Graves, which is a tough matchup. I've yeah. got that. And against like Rek'Sai, like early okay. game junglers. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So I think in that case, it's valuable to, you could just slap it on this. And even if they show up and kill it, um, it buys you time, it gives you information and so on. Because the goal here isn't longevity. Because we want to move that, as you said, into more aggressive spots. So yeah. the last place I would put it is here. Okay. I think either, you know, minimally in this bush or, or sort of like top left in this bush in case you're afraid of, say, a graves eating through the wall. Like if a graves starts blue and then goes over and e-hops and takes your red... If you place that control wood on the top side of this bush, you would see that. Yeah. So you'd have to play it by matchup. But I'm going to say no to this. Um, secondly, your laners are advertising exactly what we hate about them. Nice. 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 Great. Thank you for the level one defense, guys. Appreciate it. <laughs> Team, yep. we want ganks, but we have no interest. Also, if you're going to ward yeah. um, defensively like that, you can go back much quicker. Yeah. Do you change for a scanner here? Yeah, I do. I, I place an excellent ward in the base in case they try to dive us this in the This is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. I love it. Yeah. EUS special against the Inters. Um, yeah, you see, <laughs> you see, that's what I'm saying. Like, you could easily afford to run down to 14, place a trinket ward, move one up, yeah. place your control ward, reset, get your scanner, and now you're totally protected. Gotcha. And you said the control ward should go where again? Oh, uh, I might. I mean, if you're gonna, I don't often, it's not common practice, but I mean, if I was worried about level two invades, top of this bush here. Gotcha. I mean, that's just because Graves and Javan and Kindreds will try and hop over level 2. And as long as you see it, you can make a play for, for vertical jungling, you know? Or collapsing, yep. or what have you, but this is low value. Because even by the time you do see them, it's too late for you to react. Whereas if you see them here, or here, it gives you an extra 10 seconds. You know? And that, that's huge for early game jungling. Hmm. Anyway, that, 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 that covers level 1, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and that, <laughs> that's just level 1. <laughs> Uh, what's the game sign? Yeah, there we go, okay. Right, so blue stud looking for full camp in a clear. Um, I'm seeing this this blue line. Now, I don't want I don't want to click it, a little bit of waffling, but that's fine. We're trying to charge up the W. Here we go. Is This is you, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. 
Um, I'm just... You should just smite the wolf, huh? Yeah, yeah. Just smite I... it and, and try run. Like, if you smite it, you're a Nimbus, right? So if you just smite it, um... You get the Nimbus proc, and then you can flash, you can flash the wolf. Like here, I just... Yep. I don't know, do you... If you smite this, it gives you HP back and movement speed. His alpha's down, and you can flash under the tower. Now, most likely he flashes and tries to kill you again. But because you double proc Nimbus on smite and flash, he might actually um, get tagged under tower, and you've got you've got snowball up in two and a half seconds. So there's a universe where you come out on top here. Yeah, yeah. But it's like it's gonna be quick. Like as soon as this thing, you can see the HP is at two sixty eight. We smiting that, which gives us HP back. We're getting Nimbus proc to get to the wall closer. We're smiting the wall. We're running as fast as we can to the tower. If he comes in, his alpha is still down for a while. Like, people don't know this, an 18 second cooldown level one. And I actually forgot, I knew it was long, I didn't realize it was 18. So if he follows you to try and order you, you just snowball him. And uh, GG, first blood to you. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's sad. <laughs> it, yeah, it was, I was definitely not ready for it, but if I was ready for it, I, I do think there's a, there's a chance where it, I, he at least loses health. That's, again, I, I love this, not to bring up the, the, the Chinese super server, but I love that, that post on Reddit as well. They said um, there was this Chinese phrase, and I'm not sure about the accuracy. If anyone in chat knows Chinese and can verify, I should go ahead. But um, essentially the principle is we can um, out-mechanic them. You know, like, you can use your mechanics to, to win a 50-50 situation. So, this is one of those situations where you could have out mechanic him, right? And, and come out ahead. It's that 50-50 yeah. thing in a game where either you're being proactive or reactive. Now, this is just... You know, I'm talking about warding and protecting an invade. This guy had no vision whatsoever. This is just totally blind. Yeah. Now, if you're on Grump, you're actually fine. You'd run into him. Okay, so this is just... This is just literally him being an idiot. And, uh, right-clicking better. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not too... Which, yeah, I could have definitely outplayed that Nice things! Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was, came out of nowhere. <laughs> Master E special. Um... Yeah. Okay, Just so, such a strong early game champ, you know? Yeah, uh, Master E, definitely. Very weak late, <laughs> strong early, yeah. So what, yeah, what yeah, you, no scaling whatsoever. <laughs> no scaling. What do you want? Okay, you're running phase rush as well, so we're going, I assume it is, you know, like Cinder Proto, Cinder Proto Belt. Well, that's the idea, right? Um, uh, yeah, so I either, I either do that or I skip Proto Belt if I don't feel like the team needs the damage, because you've got enough to chase them down without Proto Belt, unless they have uh, Flash, typically. Okay, and the, the, the phase rush is for in and out fighting, which against Samira could be kind of useful. So what do you want to do now? Obviously, we, we talked about the early game. You said you wanted to full camp and then look for lanes. What? Yes. The world has ended. What do you want to do? So I'm looking to... um. Uh, so I, I pathed from bot to top because I wanted to gank top since it was a melee versus melee, so it was pretty volatile. It's also right? it's Malphite. I mean, the guy... Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So I'm clearing red here and stuff, um, and I basically just want to get level three so that I get all my CC up and I can start doing that and basically spam ganking because you know you can't really farm too well. And I just want to you know keep them scared and everything. So I'm trying to keep an eye on top lane here while I'm doing this, and I see he's kind of pushed up. He's kind of playing aggressive, so I forego going for the next one. I just go in. So I, no I notice the wave's also pretty big, so it could be a tough fight. But she goes in afterwards, and he comes back. Should get the flash um, if you need it for the red buff burn, but you don't need to. You're good. Okay. Okay. Good. She follows, which is really good. Um, I like the read. It's a good read. It's a good I read. I appreciate it. Thank uh, you. I think this is the end game. Anyway, regardless, if you're doing a four camp, you end up in the same situation with you know you're a little bit late at the moment, but um, that's 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 a good. I like the way you're talking about the lanes. Now, in terms of uh, the other lanes, what do you think about their gank ability? Mid lane, bottom uh, lane, what do you think? So, I mean, bot, bot's super shoved in, so we really don't want to be trying to go down there. Plus, it's so far away. And mid lane, like, it, it's a possibility, but I'm not sure Zed can do too much right now. I really want him to have his ult, so I can CC him, he ults, and he gets everything off while that dude's knocked up, right? Um, yeah. But the number, my number one thought right now is um, I want to get a uh, scuttle crab because the, the um, it really assists with the W gank since the movement speed persists when you press W. 
Um, it's beautiful. Don't you love it when it happens? <laughs> All right. Um, Tudes, are you still in the chat? We've got a triumph alacrity, citizen. He's our resident Nuno one trick. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, so we take that. Now, at this point, where do we think Yi is? Because we haven't seen him. That's a great question. I honestly am not sure where Yi is at the moment. We know he's he's probably down there where his blue is because he, um, he came in, probably cleared the rest of my side of the jungle, and either came up to where blue is or he um, took bot scuttle crab and uh, is going to gank bot lane because bot's pretty open. That would be if he did the vertical jungling. Now, the thing is, you can you have two options from this point. Um, just like in that video I did with the Diddly Challenger guide, and she sort of flows up, it's like, choose your own jungle adventure. That's that's gonna be a t-shirt, I think, guys, at some point. Um, <laughs> except instead of, like, 18 options, you have two. You can either float in here and hit this, although at the same time, we're concerned about fighting the E. I think with level 3 phase rush and flash up, we should be comfortable even taking a little bit of damage, because you got this. Or we can go straight down here. If you hit yeah. this, it will give you, um... Sorry, the scanner noise is going off. It will give you prior on seeing if he's here or not, which means you could give the information to your bottom line to ping them. Because if you hit this down, Good. this way, yes. okay, you would detect if the Mercy is floating up. Yeah. And so if you see him, right, we're safe, we know where he is. Uh, can I afford to counter jungle? If not, I can leave. If you don't see him at all, as you said, great, great uh, point, most likely he's going to take his red side and look to gank bottom line after taking that grab. So we could sort of get a 10 to 15 seconds advantage on that decision. Absolutely, that's a, that's a really, really great idea. I wasn't even thinking about. Yeah, it's, it's, see, I, yeah see, now we see him showing bottom lane. So, not, you know, I'm not saying it necessarily gives him, it gives your bottom lane the ability to survive, but it's a better chance than not having it. And also 10 seconds here really saves lives. Yeah, um, so I, I hop into his jungle at this point. Yeah, yeah, I'm watching you as well, yeah. Okay, so he flashes. Oh, sorry, some mirror flashes, my bad. I just thought that was E for a second. They do look similar. <laughs> yeah, that's a, the big blade, yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, but one's a stick insect. Okay, so we see him down bottom lane, we see him with, with the CS. Okay, so that tells you everything you need to know. Because he would have red buffed into this, four CS, taken your wolves. That would get him to, to, to probably, what? If he gets all of them, then he gets to eight, 100%. But I don't remember if he got all of them. Uh, and then he gets the rest of his stuff. Okay. He didn't take crab, though. I don't know if you would assume that. What would you think in this situation? I always like to ask that because from a tracking point of view, the guy's ganking bottom lane with 16 CS. So he either left a red camp up or he left the, the, the crab up. Now, obviously, here we see crab is up. But I would actually not assume he, that would be the case. I don't know about you. I assume, he's, I assume he's taking crab already. I mean, it's difficult with him with no CC, but yeah. Okay, he hangs around bottom lane, too, so you can just take the grab. There you go. Okay. And now he goes up into the river. We see him leave mid uh, bottom lane, go up into the river. So now he's on the crab. Okay. Good. Good. Good reads. I feel. I feel like. I feel like you can go straight into the wolves here. Uh, I think I end up doing that afterwards. I think I turn around. We hit the. We hit the river. We lost. What would you say? Five seconds or so, potentially, probably in the blue side. Yeah. This doesn't give us a window to block the bottom lane, but they did a good job disengaging. They only lost the exhaust. Now we we were moving out of the jungle, and because he stuck around, we did the grum. Now again, you're leaving the jungle, and we knew we know he went up to the crab. So it's like, the, the okay, and we actually leave the wolves. Nice skating. So we actually, <laughs> I think at that point you could have very easily um, stifled him again. Yeah. Okay. And I'm gonna say this as well because if you leave a baby here, right? Actually, let me see. Yeah. So here. Mm, yeah, I would just leave a baby wolf. Mm -hmm. I would leave a baby wolf because it stifles him hugely and really tells you exactly where he is. Like, what, what's he going to do? He has to either go gank or counter jungle. But you're taking all your camps and then you're going to reset. Now you can go down and get your tier 2 wolves, get your grump, maybe gank bottom lane first and even solo a dragon. All the while he's waffling around here trying to take camps and you've eaten them all. Yeah, so that's, gotcha. That's, that's taking the early game you've had, which is good, but sort of amplifying it just a little bit. Absolutely. Should I be concerned about the fact that, um, so Lowy wasn't there, it was just Malphite in the top lane. Do I have to worry about him sort of rotating in or doing anything? You're a Nuno, you're fine. Okay. What, what's he gonna do? Throw a Q and while you're doubling and you cannot be slowed, so you're good. Like, he's got nothing. Um, alternatively, your secondary option here was because he's pushed up, um, once you finish counter jungling, instead of going for the wolves, you just float back top lane. The guy's got no flash. Mm. So let's see, let's see where we were. 
to here, okay? We're waiting for Alawi. So this is this is big, okay? General statement. Um, uh, timing your ganks with your with your laner. Very big, and junglers don't do it enough, especially in gold platinum. So basically, you're saying this guy has no flash. Okay, he walked back to lane because we didn't see him use his TP. Alawi's coming back with an item advantage. If he pushes again, and because he doesn't know lane management, most likely he will. What can I do in the meantime so that I can sync up a gank once she returns to lane? And in this case, taking wolves would be nice, right? If that makes gotcha. sense, right? No, totally, absolutely. It gives him like the least amount of time to prepare her to like, you know, burn spells and get in the middle of it. She's ready. He's not that ready, and we collapse in on them. Exactly. And secondly, once you've done the wolves and you've walked out, you can hit this plant down. Now, all that does is one deny him vision um, capabilities. Doesn't matter if they see it. And two, it also just gives you a little bit of security knowing he's not there. I mean, if he magically shows up because he didn't do the crab, you go, oh, okay, oh, oh I'm running away. <laughs> you know? So just, I think yeah. I think that's like a total counter-jungling um, endeavor. And then here now, I would honestly just chill. I think I would wait a little bit and then try and abuse it again. What do you think? Uh, like go top lane afterwards? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think so as well. Well, she Because she's just back, she's got all her items, and um, uh, he doesn't have flash. Yeah. Exactly, and we want to deny him as well because he's going to be useful no matter what. I don't think you want yeah. to spend all your resources destroying a Malphite because at some point in 15 minutes, he's going to ult you. Also, he's got a, a name that suggests he wants to carry. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. So I think we could take that out, and then from there you can transition to your, your Krugs and your Raptors, okay? Mm -hmm. And then you can reset, and now you can do Wolves Grump, and now you've got a really nice setup for top-to-bottom sequencing should you want it. It's nice to got set it. it up in case, right? It's good for all junglers. Definitely. So, so, so actually, the, so the number one thing in my mind right now is actually that dragon is coming up soon. Yeah. Because um, that's like how I plan on winning basically most of the games, dragon control. As you should, yes. Yeah, because because I, I I don't I, I I honestly am not a very I don't I don't camp like do camps as much as maybe I should. I really gank quite a bit. Yeah, that's fine. Um, uh, and I focus on drags and, and stuff. So here I'm I'm recalling just to try to get the. Um, to, to get Cinder Hulk because I know I can solo with Cinder Hulk at level five. But yeah. I can't do without it. Okay, so two things I think we missed was one Wolf Camp, two Krug Camp for reset. This was an okay gank, and I like ganking a Rumble Pre 6, but as you see, the guy just speeds up and runs away. It's a very frustrating thing. Unless you have Chain CC, it's rough. Um, and we see the Flames of Destiny come through here. It's such a tough, like, mid lane Rumble's so tough. Yeah. It's really tough to, to, to sort of get ganking when you have an AD mid. Uh, hello. <laughs> I like this though. So you, were you planning on ganking bot first or going straight to dragon? I was planning on checking drag to see if it was there. And then, um, uh, you know, because just in case he was doing something like this. Because I, I really do think that, like, you know, Yi's going to scale. And if he gets a single drag, that's like five more minutes till we get soul. And soul's sort of what we need to, like... Keep up with the late game comp. At least for me. Yeah, no, I agree with you, 100%. Like that, that, that's why Dragon was so good this year because it gives you that wing con that not only lets you get statistics that really aid you, um, it, it also simply it's like he sees you, right? It, it also helps you um, uh, strengthen your team comp if you weren't exactly late game scale. Now, this is scaling team comp. Now, I'm thinking about two things at once. Dragon's out of the way. He sees you, right? I don't think you needed to flash. Like, you're Nunu. You have Snowball. No, you, you, you're right. You're right. I, I, the, I wanted to just be able to, like... I didn't <laughs> want him to be able to prepare for it or anything, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. But, you know. I don't... I, I, he's gold. I mean, I don't think this guy's gonna pull off. I don't think he... I think he's stubborn. <laughs> At this point, he's gonna blame his bottom lane. Yeah, for sure, for sure. You know, like, as soon as this happens, I think you can just stand here. In his face, like, what's he gonna do? He either keeps hitting it, right? Mm -hmm. And goes 50-50 with a Nunu, which is hysterical. Or he yep. tries to run out and fight you, but he's got no HP, and he's tanking the dragon. Or he just flashes out the back of the pit. So I feel like you saving your flash shield will be fine, but... I mean, that's a good move anyway. I mean, you get it, but yeah. at the same time, I think... Like, if you have your flash here now, okay, we can follow yeah. him again. Yeah, yeah. You know, he used everything. So you can follow him and 100% get the kill. Yeah, definitely. So I think... I think there's two moments where um, you could have, you know, mechanic him, to use that word, 
and actually mm. taken more control. Right. Now what do you want to do? Uh, You're so pretty good now. Here, he's low. I see his red buff timer. Yep. Um, so I uh, I want to go counter jungle him at this point. Good. To keep him from doing things. Yep. Oh, see, that's what, that's how you avoid the honey fruit. You just play Nuno and press W, guys. That's it. Yeah. There's actually a bug oh, where come it on. speed you up. Is there... <laughs> I think I would, I would, I would read this red, but I'd be very careful, huh? Yeah. For like sure. you're staring bot. Okay, so bottom mid and mid show, we're good. And now we can go for the crab. Very nice. And now, now what? Uh, so now I'm waiting to look to see if I can gank the rumble because I see that he's pushing up past the minion wave. I, I feel like. I feel like at this yeah. point. So the biggest thing for you is uh, we're looking to how we can take your good early game, which is it, it is it's solid. Uh, you've got good logic. You're watching the lanes. You can think about objectives. It's all very good. Uh, the E is being shamed. He's down two levels. I feel like at this point, it's unlikely you straight up kill him unless you have, um, you know, maybe completed Sundalk. Maybe you are building that proto belt. I don't know. This this for me looks like quite a tough lane to to kill unless his yeah. ult's up. Like there's no ways you kill him unless his ult's up, as you said. So I think here you should be looking to clear your blue side and time a gank with your bottom lane. Just like gotcha. we talked about here. Counter jungling, time your gank with your top laner, clear your jungle. You can just do blue gromp and that'll give you enough time to double you down the river and you can kill them. Um, they're nowhere near six. And mm. you wouldn't know this unless you were a laner, but you could always tell your ask your bottom lane, hey guys, how far away are you from six? And they love that. They love that shit. They eat it up. Like, yes, jungler, you exist. Come gank for us. So, All right. and if they tell you like 20% of the way, then you know that they're most likely the same. So I think in this case, a blue into Gromp into a pre-level six gank on a Lulu Samira would be very nice. What do you think? I think that that's, that's a great idea. I do. I think, that <laughs> I think that's a good, glad you agree. But we stand around, <laughs> have a cup of tea. Uh, the Yi is tilted. Yep. Like you're just yep. literally just wasting time here. The Yi is tilted. Yeah, yeah. The bottle, your bottom lane's not in the lane. And now you have to run out. Now, in theory, yeah. they could counter jungle you here. Okay. Okay. So you, you essentially might want to make the same play, but you're behind in, in cadence and tempo. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just lost our uh, tempo. Yep. I, I didn't see the E as well because I was looking at um at that mid for the gank. They warded too. This is a good ward by them. I mean, we, we you wouldn't have known this. But if you do blue gromp and then you time your gank as your bottom lane arrives, I think you can surprise them and at least burn sums. At least, so... Okay. Note that one down in the game plan book. It is here on my untitled notepad. Excellent. Nice, nice Nuna drive-by. Absolutely. Hey, there, there it is. There's the ping. You see it? You see it? There you go. Nice ping by the rumble. What? This Nuna's ganking again? Outrageous. Okay, so I feel like this is... Okay, two things. I like this in terms of objective control. I like this in terms of river alpha dominance and saying, hey, mid lane, you're not killable, but just so you know, I exist. And that's, you know, it's good. They must have a healthy respect towards you. But you have telegraphed exactly where you're going. Mm -hmm. In a more volatile game, say where your top laner is shoved in, this is dangerous. This is very dangerous. Yeah. I don't know if this happens all in all your games, but if you have an aggressive jungler like, a, say, Graves, um, and I see, if I was against you and I see this, I'm pinging my top lane. I'm saying, yo, he's on the Herald, let's go. You know? And you don't have Aftershock either, so you don't have that innate survivability when you hit a W or, or an E stun. So, you might be able to run away from us, but there's also high risk you die. Yeah, this definitely wasn't a super safe play for me. I think it's okay. It's just you don't really have the mid advantage, and your top lane is going back to base. Um... And so the Malphite will be here first. You know, like, it's, it's, a, it's a high variance play. And now you're dead. You still killed him. Okay. So, so I'm actually glad I played out. You both, you got the, you got the 50 good and the 50 bad at the same time. Hmm. You, you mean, you got a kill, you got the Herald, but you also lost your ultimate. Uh, you had to flash. And, um... Yeah. Yeah, okay. I got lucky with the kill. Yeah, I mean, that guy's terrible, so... <laughs> the, the biggest thing for me is you don't have prior mid, and your top lane is going back to base. 
And the thing yeah. is, you might think, hey, Alawi, you're doing a good job, you know, good job, Pentai. But the problem is, she's the 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 Malphite is gonna be coming back to lane before her. So it's just, just it's just a high variance play. I don't feel like we needed to go directly. Gotcha. To make that, we could have waited. You could have very easily gone into your jungle, done your your Raptor camp again, done your blue, done your red buff, maybe timed the gank on top lane again, and then used the prior to get the herald. Uh, um, gotcha. I'll yeah. Yep. Herald timing. Okay. So out of base, it seemed like you wanted to go bot lane, but realized there was no point. So now you're going back here. What do, you, what do you want to do now? Because now, now you're skipping camps a little... I feel like uh, that's twice we've sort of not fallen back to camps properly. So you're probably missing one or two um, takes of certain camps. Like here, you got level yeah. 1 Krugs, level 6 Raptors. That's a good one because you've taken it. Level 4 Wolves you haven't taken since the first time. And level uh, 1 Grump, which you haven't taken. Yeah, so, so I... Um... I'm looking at Scuttle Crab, and I'm like, I want Scuttle Crab to keep the ganks going and to keep the pressure going. No, no, that, that, that's fine. I don't think, it don't, in this instant, this is the right play. Um, but it's more about before that, where you're missing the opportunity to, uh, opportunity to take camps, and that's going to hurt you transitioning from this 10-minute mark to the 20-minute mark. So the whole point I'm looking at is, it doesn't matter if you're like, if you're here and he's here, um, because he scales, he's just going to keep catching up to you. So what we need to make sure is that your level gap between him is as big as possible. Because you will die one time, your teammates will die a few times, and you most likely will have a mistake or throw moment. We need that lead to be sufficient enough to buffer that. Does that make sense? Yes, absolutely. Um, so we'll see when you have that. But I, uh, he's going he's gonna to ultimate. Oh, over the wall. Cheeky. I feel like you could have waited for the wave. Yeah, I, I definitely could have. Like, you could probably kill him, wait for the wave, and then use the Herald, which gives you a double push. Because now, now Malphite's dead, and then the Yeez by himself. The problem is Rumble's... Ah, there you go. There you go. So now you need to detach. Yeah. See the... Do you see what I'm... Are you seeing the dragon? I'm seeing the dragon. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at that as well, yeah. But... Holy moly. Nice, you did damage on his go on his ghost. Good job. Uh. I really got the I really got the outplay there. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. So, so that was good Evelyn plays. <laughs> okay, and Evelyn main. All Evelyn mains are very happy. Um, they're, they're having a good choice about the Dark Seal. Um, Tudes just for for what it is is a Nunu one trick D one master tier. So he he does he does know Nunu a lot. Uh, I don't I know Nunu's some do like the Dark Seal, but uh, it's, you know, I don't think I would necessarily build it myself, but in lower elo for the scaling, I'm sure that's King Sticks approved. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm also a big fan of, uh, of the Magi's movement speed on it. Yeah. Well. <laughs> that's yeah. also true, yeah. Yeah. Oh, we don't have Magi's yet. Okay. So, let's just recap very quickly because I feel like... You've done so many things great, but if we fill those gaps with your camp sequencing where I said, you know, full back, take this, then reset, and then go gank, and then full back, take this, and then time your gank. Um, those experience boosts would give you such a beautiful sequence of, of high tier experience camps at the moment. And it's all very good with Nuna not to have high CS, because he is a ganking. Uh, oh, you're getting respect in chat, by the way, for knowing the Magi's good job. Um, I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's, it's about the fact that... When you now do fall back to farm, right? When things die down and calm down and everything, all the camps are going to be level one. Yeah. And I feel like that's a big problem. Team run away. Team run away. You're such a good citizen of the Republic. You should flash. Yeah. 
Or actually, I don't. Maybe you didn't need to flash. Maybe you could have just smited the wolves and then run fast. <laughs> Again. Oh, that might that might have been better. <laughs> yeah, it might have been a little better. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Nimbus cloak is something people forget. <laughs> you, definitely. You, you definitely. just smite it and you're like, bye, because you've got the vision comfort here. Um, you're still up. You're still up big time. Um, fortunately, I think if the Yi here takes your camps, you can thank you. You can say thank you. Please take them. <laughs> take the Grump, please. Take the Grump. God damn it. Uh, yeah, that would give you the natural reset. Okay. Right. So I feel like if we were to rate your early game as a... S what would you rate it out of 10? Uh, I'm going to give it like a B minus. A B minus out of 10. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I would say 7.5 um, yeah. to 8, depending on the ELO. Now, if I was to go with like an, 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 ob <laughs> an objective... Measurement compared to like the best Nunus, obviously there's a lot of lot we can work on. But I think in terms of gold metrics, if this is a seven and a half out of ten, we could easily be at a nine, or yeah. even a ten. Um, and that's just to do with the camps here. But you're still way up on the guy. I mean, so what what's your mindset at this point? You said you have good early games where you feel confident, and you get a couple dragons, you get a couple of heralds, and you struggle to translate that over to the late game. What are you thinking about at 13 minutes right now? What do you want to do? So, um, I, I know that, like, I can't, like, single-handedly carry this game, especially because, um, uh, Master Yi will scale at some point or another. Um, so I need to close this game out, um, and, like, start really pushing an objective that we have. Uh, so, so Zed's, like, you know, super hard carry, as well as bot lane, and Alawi's also hard carry, but I know that she can, you, you, you can outplay Alawi, um, a because if you like walk away from her ult and stuff, she doesn't have the ability to just absolutely dominate like assassins or ADCs do. So I want to try to play play around those lanes and make sure that they're doing well while keeping Master Yi shut down. I and think... at this point, I'm I've resigned myself to sort of being like like at this point, I'm I'm sitting here as a support. I've got damage enough, um, but they're going to be the ones who really throw the game in with things like dragon buffs and just getting gold from turrets, etc. Um, why not simply go tabbies? Um, in this case, why not go tabbies? Uh, that's a great question. Uh, that's actually, I, I probably should change that. That's a holdover from when I usually go proto belt, but tabbies definitely would be the better option in this case. Yeah. I mean, I, I agree. I mean, knock up doesn't affect you. No CC. This is just a slow. Samira doesn't have any CC, right? It's just a dash and Lulu's a knock up. So like the milk trades are doing nothing yeah. for you. So Samira's got the, the knock up on her dash. That, the knock up, but okay. But again, it's a knock up, so. Yeah, yeah. This isn't seasonal. Oh, blind W. Very nice. Polymorphed because Lulu's a champion that exists. Knocked up because Lulu's a champion that exists. I like. Okay, you just burned everything and then some. I like that. Okay, so that's a nice gank again. Blue. Um, in, into the bottom lane gank. Let's take this tower. Let's elevate the game set. So good so far. Move into the jungle, get deep vision. Very nice. Careful now. Don't <laughs> easy. <laughs> we don't have aftershock. Um, Samira has 0.5. One of three passes. Oh, okay. Don't talk about the mockups. Is there a reason to fight here? If you fight, what do you get? Uh, so we get like a. I think we get like a 20% kill on the on the the uh, mid laner. And a lot of possible death. <laughs> a lot of possible death. No, I mean, I mean, why are we fighting? Not, not for, not for the, not for LPL reasons. But like, what, what do we get out of fighting here? And like, you got a level seven Krug you could take. Um, you got a level one Krug of your own. That's useless. So there's no objective necessarily that you can fight for, and your bottom lane really wants to giga reset. So mm -hmm. this is good to take an angle if he over pushes. Um, Unfortunately, we don't hear. Okay, we're in the flash. This is good. That's a, that's a death for you. Uh, yeah. Tanking too much tower. Yep. Um, it was more I was asking when you were trapping here because I thought you guys were gonna hang around in the jungle, and and in this case it would have been a big throw because your bottom lane had a lot of gold to respend. But uh, mm. okay. Mechanics aside, that's fine. You see what I mean? She, she stayed way too long and now she's dead. Mm -hmm. 
I love that you got bot lane tower in five plates without them getting a single kill. That's ama that's that's amusing to me. Uh, where do you want to go now? Uh, so I see reds up. So I want to go to red. I see scuttle and the um and rift herald are up. So I'm going to either grab red and then go get those two objectives or just go get those two objectives. I think I think we can. It's safe to say that your camps have been ignored to a level hitherto unseen. This is second red, no? Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 So that's been sitting there for a good uh, eight minutes almost. <laughs> yeah, I will say like there are many games where I just will never take um, Krugs or Grom. It's also which... worth. Yeah. I mean, you had. You had um. See, see now, 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 now we fall back, hundred percent. Like this is just a full red side clear. Yep. I mean, I know this is up, but like these shouldn't be up. I mean, if you're gonna take a camp and then go straight to dragon, you should take the red because that actually gives you value. The raptor gotcha. camp is nice experience, but doesn't give you value. Also, I, I think if you're gonna ignore the krugs at this point, you sacrifice them to the gods. They don't exist to you. They're level one. You should just tell Alawi to take them. She'll be juiced. Then what you do is you just go take your red. Into your raptors, and now you can circum. Now you can float on down to the um, Drake. And the most important thing about that is it would give you level ten, which is another level on your smite, another level on your ability to fight. Also, want to note that you had sixty CS and he had forty five. While you've been doing all this, this guy's just been rinsing his camps and holding waves, gaining a, a significant amount of experience. And a lot of the reasons why you might find yourself falling off on the late game is because while you had a lead, um. We were getting a little too gank happy. Earlier on, it's okay. Like, I, I, I play volley. I'll do a blue side, red, invade, kill him, kill top, take crab, kill mid, take bottom crab, uh, kill bot, reset. And now I'm thinking, well, Krugs and Raptors are level 1, so screw them. I'll go do Grump and Wolves tier 2 and then and a, and a dragon. So it's not uncommon to ignore those the Krugs and Raptors to a certain degree for the first 10 minutes if you're a ganking jungler. But not, I feel, to this extent. You know, it's just at this point... You, you're basically playing with like two camps instead of four, which oh, okay. Like, I mean, Grump is Grump and Krugs give you the best elevated experience as the game goes on. Yeah. So it's like, it, <laughs> yes, go ahead. Uh, so, so yeah, I'm I'm just worried about like losing map uh, map pressure, you know, while while going to take camps because like if I'm farming and he's farming, you know, like if we're if we're fighting instead, I'm winning fights because I'm ahead of him. Yeah. Um, but if we're farming, you know, like we both can can kill the jungle around the same speed, him probably faster at this point. Significantly, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I'm 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 always afraid of falling back to jungle because I feel like you know I'm giving up a lot of the sort of potential that Nunu has because he doesn't really farm well like at all. No, you, you're a tank. I mean, I, I feel you. I like playing one and volley of all things. I mean, I, I I get it. You know, Nunu is 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 actually if I was to take my jungling style and, and play a champion, I would also be playing Nunu. Um, I played it significantly when it was reworked, that's why I made the guide. Um, you can also, um, uh, I mean, if you've got a level 2 gank, you can always red level 2, but that again depends on the lanes you have, huh? Like, sometimes the level 2 ganks are actually dumb because your laners can't handle it. But my point more so is, you were two levels above the Yi, right? Yep. Now you're the same level. And the reason is, as those camps hit that level 9, 10 level, uh, sorry, as they hit level of 9 and 10, the experience really ramps up. And so the sooner you get to that, the sooner you get supreme elevated experience. And that's why farming junglers, like Akarthas, will just go blue, grump, wolves, you know, full clear. Is there a gank? Is there not? Okay, I don't care. Go back. Uh, I'll take a crab. Is there a gank? No? Okay, full, full clear again. You know? And now I'm six. Bottle main's fighting. Okay, I press R. I'm really talented. Back to base. You know, solo the dragon. All right, full clear again. You know, that's three full clears by the time you've done like 18 ganks as Nunu. But the guy's going to be higher level than you because he's gotten the experience. And yeah. the ganks you're saying are very good, but they don't give you that level of experience. <laughs> so it's like the ganks you make and the farms, the farming you do do needs to be very, very uh, on point. Did your morale just go down? Mine went down. <laughs> yeah, mine went down as well, yeah. So, we've got a dragon spawning here. Now, people keep telling me to press N, but... See? Look, Twitch chat. Look, everyone. It doesn't work. I can't see the time with the dragon. I assume. Like, 30 seconds. 
So the way you can sort of open this up significantly better is by using the Herald mid. Because one charge from the Herald will give you um, this tower. It's dead. Okay? Yeah, yeah. So at the very least, if they take a fight with you, you can look to not fully engage. Kite them out. You'll get double charge on the on the, on the the Herald mid, right? Mm -hmm. This also gives time for Alawi to push this wave. So we're not looking to fight just yet. I feel like, obviously, I'm, we're getting benefit here of, of seeing the Yi, but we don't know that. For all you know, the Yi could be here. Um, your Caitlyn's not really in position. Did you think about using the Herald mid? Uh, no, actually, it wasn't on my radar. I would really look to use it mid just to get Pryo on setting up the fight. Like, I caught the Malphite in mid ult here. Because he's going to do this. Now, at this point, you've got two choices. I can peel the Lux. Or oh, I can go all in with, with the Zed. But your Caitlyn isn't there and your Ilawi isn't there. I don't think I'm looking to sustain fight here. Like, I was just yeah, looking... Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm looking to just sort of watch the Zed k kill who he's targeting and then just get out of there. Yeah, I think... Uh, yeah, I, I see what you're looking at. But I think sometimes it's better just to let him die. Yeah, I, well, I, th I thought he'd be able to get the, the kill, but of course it's not his fault that I um, that I died here. No, 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 no. No, I'm not blaming anyone. I'm just it's a thing that happens. Like that's so frustrating. The, the smear life steal though. What the hell? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's a bad fight. But again, that's that's set up by things we can control. I, I don't feel like you should have lost two levels on the guy, and I don't feel like we should be in a position to lose that fight. Definitely. I think this is where the gold graph has a nice dip. Did you look at the gold graph? Uh, I I have looked at it, but I haven't studied it. I would say this is where you have a big drop. Yeah, that's 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 very unfortunate. I understand your frustration, but <laughs> I think when you sign on to play a tank jungler, when you sign on to play a Nunu, there's there's a guy. Okay. There, there's a level of can I click around? Replay? Okay. Um, there's a level of carry that you're willing to go for. Like, if you were playing Yi, you know, your carry ramps up to 100. If you're playing Nunu, your carry starts higher and sort of goes lower as the game goes on, you know? It doesn't ramp up, it ramps down to a degree because now... You can do a lot to carry a game as Nunu, but it's it's really in that first 20 minutes. After that, your team fighting knowledge and of course how well you set up the game really plays into it. See, I like the Herald usage though. A little nice and nifty. But like, we could have done that before the dragon. Yeah. Because that third dragon for me is the winner, because any sort of uh, resistance against um, that team comp is very good. What do you see versus what your team sees? Um, that's a great question. Uh, <laughs> I like asking I, great questions. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's my uh, thinking tactic. Yeah. Uh, so, so, so right now they're looking at this fight here in the middle, and I'm looking at the rumble one v oneing our um uh our uh the ADC, and I uh, and I'm I want to basically go peel for the ADC because I think we can fight there, and um and Zed's not an extended fight sort of person, so I don't think I go into this fight here in the middle. The problem is, I don't know if you would have made this call, but this is where, as a Nunu player, as someone with this kind of playstyle, you need to really take hold of the shot calling. Um, Zed should not be mid lane. With you guys. This yeah. is not his arena. As you said, he's not an extended fighter. Uh, you're not looking to be... Wait, what? Bro? Oh yeah, I feel you here. So, you're not looking to have this. We're looking to have her pushing here into this lane. And you probably want, if you're going to do a 1-3-1, you want the Zed in the sideline. You want the Caitlyn with you. Yeah. Um, but the problem is, through all these fights, you've gone from a 0 one 0, zero, one, zero bottom lane into a 3-0 for Samira. Mm -hmm. This is horrific. This is all because yeah. of the fact that we elevated the game state and then we didn't optimize um, our macro. Which for you yeah. was using Herald at the right time. Now she's going to be collapsed on. And uh, jungle pathing as well. Yeah, yeah, but that's all. That's all earlier. Your pathing is really imperative earlier. At this point, what you can do 
while your team is off the map, we can either hold waves, um, get vision and clear camps, and when they're ready to fight again, we can regroup. Okay, so at this point, I should be I should be hell, basically um, guiding them on which, like telling people, hey, we should do this lane, you should come here with me to do this. <laughs> the drifts. Um, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So he, um, he, he, here, everyone's dead, right? So what? What are your options? Do I push a wave? No, I'm Nunu. Do I push mid? No. Caitlyn's got it. You just need a wave clear. Can I push top lane? No. I'm Nunu. So what you can do is say, right, Gromp, Wolves, Raptors, Red. If your ADC will let you, Krugs. You can use that time to rinse the rinse your experience, reset, spend your gold, and now rejoin your team. Okay. Because the thing is, you okay. got a lot of gold now at this point. Uh, well, not a lot, but you got a thousand. Um, you need. You could sell your Dark Seal and and. Uh, Get your dead mans. Um, yep. Well, that'd be what, 1060? You'd have to wait for 30 gold, but that's fine. But in my world, you can just say, right, everyone died. Pepe hands upset. Do blue grump sequence up as quickly as you can. And because at this point, you should be able to do it reasonably well. Not only is that important because it gives you level 11, or should. Unfortunately, you have level 1 camps, but <laughs> it should give you level 11 plus your dead mans, plus maybe um, some magic resist uh, for the rumble. Because that is something we're fighting, worth noting. You know, it's a lot of damage. And I want to check something. Is this Gromp level? Yeah. I want you to look at your mods. And I want you to see how many times you've got level 1 Krugs and level 1 Gromp at 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah. I, it's going to be more often than it, than it absolutely should be. And then that's like any time at all, isn't it? <laughs> the camp sequencing gods are upset, I can tell you that much. That is, yep. yeah. I, I think... That's why I don't play Karthus. <laughs> Karthus, why? Why are you bored all the time? I keep doing wolves and raptors. What about Grump and Krugs? Oh, those are camps. Yeah, no, I, I think like at this point, right, when there's downtime, people are dead, there's nothing to fight over, there's no reason to exist, you're a jungler, so we can take our camps. Also, that prevents your team from taking them, because they don't exist, because you keep eating them. Um, and as Nudo, you literally eat them. So, you know, instead of, like, what do we accomplish? What Since your team threw in the mid lane here, what do we accomplish? We took blue, we drifted with skills in the mid lane, we walked around a bit, and now we're in this part of the jungle, scanning, even though there's a control ward. You know, this is, again, like, this is your early game decision-making, amplified tenfold. And this is what's probably causing you to lose a lot of experience to the enemy jungler. And now you're seen. So you yeah. need to process in your mind, okay, I was seen. Um, and they ping it. Now, not always will they see it. So they're going to now make a play saying, hey, their main tank and the Nunu player is, no, is not there. We can fight. You know, like this is from their perspective. They know you're there. You've got a Melfight who's going to run down a mid. And if you're on Gromp and touching this wave and they, your team dies here, then that is on you. I mean, yeah. it's it, your team can only do so much versus Malphite. Like, I can see the animation here in the Gromp. Uh, they're just shoving this wave. He's getting free from in a side lane. Again, now he's ahead of you in experience instead of you being with him. Now, my universe, right? Sad things happened, but you did a full clear, reset, and now you can giga storm roll down the mid lane. And 5v4. This gotcha. is what you want, right? Yeah, absolutely. And you'd have dead mans. So... We, we go fast. Zoom, zoom. And you know this guy's in the bottom lane, and you don't see Malphite. Now, when you don't see Malphite in front of his team, you would assume that that sucker is back in base. But even if he isn't, you've got a 5v4. You should be able to win it. If you don't win it, the game's kind of hopeless anyway. Um, but, you know, with this guy split pushing, it should be really level 11 reset down mid lane. Gotcha. And now, now, now you're going to be collapsed on, I feel. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, Caitlyn out of position, force to flash and heal. You flash to get the movement speed rush into your phase rush, into your ult, okay? A lot of movement speed there from everyone involved. Uh, Yi is bottom lane still. Zed has died. And now the problem is you're in a 4v3 while Yi is just split pushing, split pushing. You need to make a decision here. Unfortunately, it's just not a decision I want you to have to make in gold 3. Uh, gold 2. So, yeah, okay. Like, what, what can, who can match Yi at the moment? Um, I mean, uh, I think Alawi with any other player can match Yi. Well, um, that's the, that, that there is my problem. 
Yeah. Who can match E? And Lowey with someone else. Yeah. I don't. You don't want that. He alphaed before the E. There you go. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Excellent champion. Here we go. Here we go. It gets better. Oh, shit. Quadra kill. Wow. So much skill. I'm. You got out jungled. I, I did. I really did. <laughs> no. You. This is why we tell people to play you. I don't because I think people should have a code of ethics. Um, <laughs> and a sense of morality that, that defies them to pick that champion. But for me, the game was just... The game was, was lost at this dragon fight. Um, however, the fight wasn't bad. It just was too soon. Um, and you should have had at least two levels on the Yi when that fight broke out. So that your early game lead allows you to win that fight and get the third dragon. Now with third dragon, you can stop playing with things. Baron plays. You say, okay guys, you guys go get yourselves a dragon. That's our gift to you. We take the Baron. Thank you very much. And now you can really set up a 1-3-1 and push nicely. But because we didn't think about using the Herald, because we waffled a bit too much in this, this early phase, you lost a lot of camp sequencing and experience. And now I honestly, at this point, unless you have point and click CC, life sucks. And that's why I liked my fight, uh, Maokai Jungle in Season 11. Uh, sorry, Season 7. I'm from the future, by the way. Season 7, because... <laughs> what, what, what meta was it in Season 7? Does anyone remember? I didn't sense a Callista Janna. The most horrific lane you've ever seen in your life. But if you're Maokai, I just press W, Q, and R, and, the, and she can't move for forever, so she can die. But it's the same thing with Yi. Unless you have point and click CC, it's rough. Um... Do you have any specific questions about uh, the next phase of this game? Obviously, it's looking a bit X for doubt, but... Yeah, I, 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 I mean, I think at this point, uh, it, it's, it is the early mistakes that are just coming back to, to haunt me. Um, but it'd be great if I could just reiterate what you've just sort of, what you've told me to make sure that I've uh, solidified how I can avoid getting to this point. Okay, yeah, sure. Let, let's, let's watch this dragon fight, though, because at this point, this is last ditch. So, totally. let, let, let's see. He, he was dead. Um, okay, they want to come in. At this point, at this point, if you're in a 5v5 clash tournament, this is just LCS now, everyone's loitering in the river. Uh, they're not committing, which is great for you. You steal it. But if you lose the fight, you lose the game. Yeah. Yeah. You either burst it the hell out very quickly and disengage. Um, or you give it. Those are your only two options. Because if you all die like this, they're just going to go Baron, right? Mm -hmm. I, I see they don't, but they could. Okay, so what? Uh, you go ahead with your reiterations. Uh, so first, I need to take camps. Uh, I think Grop and Krug are still level one at this point. Um, so I need to not not push for ganks when um, you know there's downtime on the map and focus on getting myself a good camp sequence so I can scale well into the late game. Yeah, um, um, just just to add it to that, your ganking cadence is fine. Like, uh, your ganking cadence is fine. I like your attitude because he is one of the best. They are sorry, one of the best ganking junglers in the game, even now. Um, the issue is once you, if you time your ganks a little better, it will give you more relaxation knowing you can fall back to your camps because you're worried about the Yi farming and just scaling by farming. Uh, you're also worried if he gets any cleanup kills in certain trades. Um, you're going to be caught out and again he gets a lead. But by sort of timing your counter jungling into that top lane gank, you kill Malphite. Uh, Ilawi's got a huge lead and she's ahead. So you're not concerned about Yi ganking her because you can't. So it gives you the time to say, let me do Krug's Raptors and then reset. Right? Um, and then you can go down to your dragon, which you did. You stole it. Normally you can probably solo it before that. Um, and then you see your bottom lane's coming down to, to, to the lane again. Okay, let me um, kill the Yi like you did. That was great. But let me do my blue grop and then tie my nice gank with my bottom lane. Those timings on your ganks open up the windows to farm. Um, yeah, that's the end of the sentence. They open up the windows to farm, period. All and right, that's, gotcha. So also time ganks with, with lane returning. Yeah, or, it, or, or lane state as well. I mean, you were talking a lot about it early, which is great. But that kind of fell away a little bit. And you sort of said, okay, let me do blue and I'll gank. It's like, well... The, after you waited, you know, so that, that little bit of waffling and delay 
coupled with not ganking at exactly the right moment is causing you to either die or to enter a situation where you feel rushed. And because you feel rushed, you don't think, oh, I'm going to go to the top side now. Let me clear my blue quadrant, reset, and now I can go herald. You're feeling rushed because your decision wasn't on point. So you feel like, I really have to skip these camps. I need to get to the herald. Does that make sense? Yeah. I don't know absolutely. if you feel rushed, but it, it, it seems like it could be a thing where you're getting a bit too obsessed over, um, over um, getting to another objective. Yeah, yeah, I'm really playing a lot in the river. Um, yeah. And I think I can retreat back to my jungle. The final thing was also herald timing during that um, last that dragon fight. I could I could use herald to make sure that I like relieve pressure on that fight to wait. And uh, there are better times when I can use herald in other different circumstances, like yeah. um, in top lane where we could have done the kill and then got herald. Yeah. Um, and also uh, dived him and then placed herald. Yeah. Order of events. Um. Just like math, the PEMDAS is coming back strong. You know, you you add and multiply in the wrong order, you're going to get the wrong answer. Did you add and multiply correctly? Yes, but because you did it in the wrong order, the answer is wrong. You know, it's, it's very much the same thing with, with jungling. If we do the right things, but in the wrong order, it can have consequences either immediately or later on. Um, but that's what makes it all interesting. Yeah. You could have pity taken the Krugs. I mean, like, at this point, just, just mercy, you know, let them end their lives. They're like... um. Mr. Meeseeps from Rick and Morty, they just want to die and <laughs> you won't let them. <laughs> you're, just, you're just being Jerry to them. <laughs> they hate you. Uh, yeah, I think those are the biggest things for me. Um, and also, you know, like your decision to fight here on the dragon is excellent. Um, but as you say, set, thinking about how you want to set up for it, not just getting to it. Because a lot of times you're thinking about getting to the dragon or getting to the herald. But not thinking about the, the groundwork necessary to make sure it's 100% safe. Um, gotcha. Yeah. Get your COVID tests before you group up. <laughs> PSA, you know? That kind of stuff, yeah. And also a little bit itemization, I think. You know, like... You, you don't need more damage, as you said, so why go Sork Boots? You don't need more damage, as you said, so why even, you know, Darkseid? I know you get the Mesh Eyes, but... I feel like... I feel like... You could have farmed a bit more and, and sold it for, for better resistances later on. Because it's very clear you're not stacking it at this point. Yeah, I should have sold it for sure. Yeah. And then a little bit of MR I think would be really nice. Because the rumble's going to hurt you. I don't think you need to go... Because if you had Tabby plus Deadman, now you can afford to go into your Spirit Visage, your Abyssal Masks, what have you, depending on team comp. Um, and you'd be better set off to win those close fights as well. I don't think you win or I don't think I don't think you're gonna lose every game because of it, but I think it's definitely gonna impact those micro moments that could yeah. give you leads. Yeah. Jesus. So no one wanted to ban Smear, huh? Uh, no, 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 not in this game. Was was this pre nerfs? Was this pre hotfix? This I think is pre hotfix. Oh. Oh, that is rough. But yeah, then then I can definitely suggest those tabbies would have been nice. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Oh man, that you know it was going so well. You know what's rough about these kind of games is that they don't fall apart in such a way that's so obvious. You can kind of go ah, you know that's why I threw. Yeah, that's like, that's why I, um that's why I've got you. <laughs> let's hope. <laughs> Uh, let's hope. That's, that's what I try and do. I just try and provide perspective and options and things to look for. So, I mean, hope, hopefully you, you got a bit. Um, I like Nunu. I suppose this will probably go on the on the gameplay channel. Either way, the the Twitch VOD stays up for a while, so. Or free, so. If you need to refer back, you should have this. And if you want it privately, you can just let Scorpio know and I'll, I'll upload it as well. Gotcha. That's, that's, that's great. I really, uh, really appreciate it. Any other closing questions? Let's watch a steal again. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. One closing question. Um, yeah, so so I I'm actually not the most familiar with how um, jungle camp leveling really works and what the sort of the the biggest significance the significance of that is and how to like optimize it. Like I know the general thought of like how to clear camps, like you know do them in order to make sure you do full clears over and over again. Um, but is it just the average level of the game that they spawn as and they remain there until they die? Yeah. They, the, the, the ones that spawned at that level, that's why um, this camp here, for example, is level 4, right? Because it will take 2 minutes to spawn, 
and it gets to that level spike. It goes from level 1 to level 4. I think if I double check, I'm not... I just want to clarify because before we used to have much... There was much more um, strict adherence to the average level in the game. And then they did change it. Jungle Camp XP. They did change it with the changes, I think, was it this year or end of last year? Where the, it sort of rounds. But yes, once it spawns, okay, at the average level on the map, um, it will stay at that until you kill it. So if you kill a level 4 camp now, right, it will again spawn most likely level 6 or level 7 because that'll be the average level on the map in 2 minutes, right? Mm. If you were to kill this level 1 Grump, even at, say, 29 minutes, you finally decide to end its suffering, it's going to respawn at the highest level, which I believe is capped at, I want to say 13, but um, I'm not sure if it actually says it, to be honest with you. I never actually get that far into the sequencing because at that point it doesn't matter. This is level 4 in 24 minutes! There you go, 13, perfect. Oh, coach, by the way, boom, nailed it. So there you go. Uh, level, level 13 grump, you know? So that, that's. Alright. But it, you skipped all the other levels, right? That's the whole yeah. point of camp sequencing. You take level 1 so that you can get level 4, so you can get level 7, so you can get level 9, so you can get level 10, which is where that elevated experience boost comes from. But if you leave it at level 1, you're missing out on all that the experience between, mm -hmm. right? And so yeah. you got level one Gromp. And the thing is, the most important thing that we're talking about is that your experience bar here, um, crap, you can't see it in game, in the replay. Uh, the experience needed to level up gets bigger and bigger as the game goes on. So while yeah. you might have a level six to level four lead versus the Master Yi early, right? Say that equates to hypothetically 500 experience points, right? Mm -hmm. Later in the game, you might still have a 500 experience lead, but you can both be the same level, just because that level has a lot more experience to it, to get through it, right? Just like, just like Prestige and Call of Duty, whatever, what, what have you. So, yeah. by taking a level 1 Gromp at level 1, you know, that's a lot of experience that helps you get to level 2. But by taking a level 1 Gromp at level 13, it's just, you know, like 10 XP, what does that help you? It doesn't do anything. It's minimal. So the main thing is to keep the experience of the camps as high as possible, so that every time you take it, you're getting as max, you're getting the maximum amount of experience you can to advance your own lead. Okay, gotcha. Does that make sense? And so, you, so you'd recommend set. So, so I should basically always try to set up a full clear, and then do it whenever there's downtime. Usually after you make a play and people are sort of off the map at that point. If you're a ganking jungler, reward yourself with camps. Yes. Gotcha. Uh, if you're a farming right. jungler, it's very common to sequence fully, boom, 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 and then gank when your ultimate's up, or be opportunistic. It's, okay. diff it's a different idea um, on how to play the game. But uh, very much in the Korean style is gank, gank, gank. Okay, everyone's dead. Top lane is resetting. No neutral objective. All right, I fall back. I take my red side because I want to go back to base and head to the bottom side. You know? like Okay, and then you do side by side. Yeah, that's what I was telling you here. You know, you would have set this up beautifully here. Right? So we, we yep. take the blue. You take the Grom. And now you take the wolves. Okay? Yep. You hit the plant on your way out. Yi is probably tier one turret. We sequence top lane. No F on the Malphite, which means he's going nowhere. He can't W. He can't Q you while you're Wing. Chain CC. Allow we burst damage with a with a, with a ruby crystal and a long sword, plus your own damage. You should be able to kill him again, or at the very least, kick him out of lane. Now all of a sudden, you know one Master Yi is not going to be able to come topside. There's nothing yeah. for him to take. So what I'm going to do is say, right, the next move for me is to get my Barmy Cinder, so I can go down and take my my dragon. My emphasis on my dragon. Because you want to head to the bottom side, if you feel um, it's really rushed, like it's if, say, you were in this position in a minute's time, say it was like 538, it would be beneficial to go back to base quickly to get to the dragon so that you can be around for this crab, the dragon, your second blue spawn, what have you. But because it's 438 and the Yi has spent all his time on the bottom side getting nothing, you're up 10 CS, we can gank top, and now you, again, I want Barmy Cinder, I want to head to the dragon. So let me do my Krugs to get them off the map. Let me do my Raptors to get them off the map. And reset. Now, the red side quadrant is done. You go back to base. You head on down. You find Master Yi in the pit doing unspeakable things. You kill him. You kill the dragon. Again, you went and counter jungled. You do all your stuff on the bottom lane. And now, when you go back to the red side, everything's up again. And that's gotcha. the point. That's why you reward yourself with those camps, so you can go do other things on the other side of the map. And the next time you want to go to the top side to get Herald, to get Crab, to get Red, those camps have respawned at level 6. 
which gives you, again, a lot of experience because you are level five, level six. You know, it's, it's the peak point for experience because it's matching you. All right. Yeah, that, that, that's much better. Absolutely. Because I've, I've got them up with like, you know, two camps there, the gank on top, which at least gets sums and likely gets a kill. Actually, he doesn't have any sums, so it at least gets, like, you know, a lot. Um, and then I'm, yeah, for sure ahead of the of the E, and I'm setting myself up for the rest of the game. That's absolutely much better. Yeah. I, I, and I, I reference Zyra just because it's the one I'm playing because I'm sort of chilling this season while I focus on all the content stuff. Um, mm -hmm. But I was like four levels up. I was level 15 and Warwick was level 11. Warwick. Just just by doing this kind of stuff. Like it's... Okay. As long as you can... Obviously with Zyra, it's the PvP component that sucks. If they run into me, I die. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's no winning. But for Nunu, you can survive. You can phase rush away. You can handle yourself. So for you, doing that in, in, in conjunction with your ganking would give you just... Runaway, runaway experience gains. But again, as you said, you're not a farmer. You need to make sure that the experience you have is is um maximized. And I think in that game, the reason you didn't win that crucial third dragon fight is because mid game macro was lacking, and two, the lead wasn't as big as it could have could have been, and three, atomization. I put All it right. as three because it's like it's lower, but definitely um important i will let me i'm gonna go double check the the scaling on the camps for the exact math and i might put it in the coaching channel um mm. but i think hopefully what i said makes sense absolutely thank you so much i really appreciate it. this has been like really really insightful I've, I've got a lot of stuff that i can i can focus and work on now yeah you've got the right attitude as well and i think your early game is just it's waiting to be perfect and once you have it i think uh, the way you see the game, you should be able to get plat. And I assume that's the goal for the season, right? That's the goal. Go get it. All right. Thank you and so much. Thank Have you very much. One. You too.